thought I might title this segment when big paychecks go wrong, you know. <laughs> I don't know about you, I've never had a big paycheck of you. <laughs> Do you remember the old days when you did a bit of overtime, you thought it was fabulous, and then you think, oh great, you know, and then you get the tax off and you think, why did I bother, I know. Is that an age thing? <laughs> you just wonder, don't you? As you get older, you start to look at things and think, who's winning here? You know what I'm saying? But of course, if you are a celebrity, paychecks are incredible. As we told you recently, with the This Morning um, presenter, Alison Hammond, she didn't realise that 10 grand had gone missing. That's 10,000 pounds had gone missing out of her bank account. I mean, you, you know, what do you mean you didn't realise? You know? <laughs> You're, every, you're scrapping around in that purse, aren't you? You're trying to make ends meet. I, seriously, I look at things and think, I'm not paying that. I know, do you do that? Move off to the next shop and see if it's any cheaper. It never is, is it? No. But this is the problem, you see. We're now coming into the season of the retail sort of uh, side of things where they're trying to make us think about what we would buy for the festive season. Uh, you know, Christmas over here in the United Kingdom, particularly the big stores like Marks and Spencers. I know, we haven't had a wave. Let's have a wave, yes. Morning, how are you, everybody? Nice to see you. Thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, I did, you know, Marks and Spencers, what a gaffe they made earlier last week. Put out this advert, basically, with not the word Christmas in it. And then, of course, uh, offended everybody. Their core audience, you know, their core audience are people who tend to be retired, who have a little bit of money, uh, who still want to shop in a reasonably priced store, hopefully with some assistance. <laughs> You'll be lucky there, let me tell you. And, um, you know, whether people wish to help you. Then, of course, after a matter of hours, it got pulled because the backlash was incredible but as we also told you the CEO launched a party for it in London inviting all the media because he was so proud of it they screened it I didn't bother attending I thought is it really come to this <laughs> turning up to a screening of a Christmas ad by a retailer is this it so I bypassed that one as you can imagine but what's interesting about this is of course the stars and I use that term loosely involved in this particular ad were indeed the West End Soprano uh, nice Nightingale Hannah Waddingham, right? And she's had a very long, if you know, not necessarily mega successful career. Came into her own recently with Eurovision, very talented lady actually. And you know, I'm kind of glad in, in a sense that she's getting some shine on her because she really can rock a West End stage. Then, of course, we have the ever beautiful pop star Sophie Ellis Bexter, had a very successful career in the early noughties. And then, of course, the reality TV queen Tan Francis. And you know, again, in incredibly successful they would have thought by getting that deal wow you know this is the MS ad not bad at all you know incredible in fact mega paycheck and no doubt a lot of publicity very quickly as i say it turned very sour very fast and what we can tell you first and exclusive on the show is that all three of the stars have been very politely quietly asked not to refrain getting involved in any social media spats online for people attacking their ad or indeed to comment on it. Uh, at the very start of this debacle, Tan Francis did point out that the ad in fact was shot in August, so no offence was meant to be regarding the alleged Palestine flag, you know, all the usual stuff. Everybody gets offended by everything now, don't they? But really, it's a costly exercise and it's a costly exercise that's going to be passed on to you, the paying customer, as long as you're not paying enough already at Marks and Spencers. It's a complete wipeout of millions of pounds. The ad agency will get paid. The people, certainly like Hannah, Sophie and Tan, will certainly have to get paid. Not their choice. They decided to pull the ad. So what a very expensive Christmas cracker. Yes, but not a cracker as such. More of one of those crackers with no real prize at the end. You won't see it again. It will go down in the annals of Marks and Spencer's history. And no doubt pop up on those reality shows called When Christmas Ads Go Wrong. But for now, don't expect to hear another single word about this particular ad from any of the stars. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.